Eric Darling here with, uh, as you, you may have guessed, uh, Darling Data. And um, in this video, we're going to talk about sort spills. Now, uh, I am, if you're wondering why I, I sound a little bit low right now, oh boy. I, I just got off a very, very depressing client call where um, my, Microsoft support suggested out loud and with, with a serious face that... Um, one, one way that they could save uh, money on their, their Azure bill would be to turn off their, their managed instance that runs their, uh, their e-commerce site overnight so it didn't, it didn't, it didn't, accu or didn't accrue uh, any, any spend. So yeah, we'll just, just turn the website off at night. It's like, it's like, it's like, the, like the early 90s when like, you, know, you, would, you would leave the office and turn off the lights and it would also turn off all the ser servers or something. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, that, that, that stunk. No one was happy. Uh, so if again, once again, if you would, if you would like better support than, than Microsoft is willing to offer you, uh, my rates are reasonable and I am available for Eric Darling of Darling Data is in fact available for, for hire for these kinds of things. So, um, you don't have to be abused by Microsoft financially and mentally. So uh, if you might notice that uh, something up here that I'm doing is setting compat level explicitly to 140, 140, because that is the 2017 compat level. And the reason I'm doing that is because if we use the 150 or 160 compat level, uh, we will get sort spills that neither of us have the patience to sit, uh, sit and wait for during one of these videos. So here, here's what I got from these two queries. It's really the same query twice, uh, but this is what happens when a batch mode sort spills. That is nearly five minutes. And remember, this is, a, this is a fully batch mode plan. So all of the operators in this plan are responsible for uh, only for the time that is spent in them. Uh, down here in the row mode plan, things are a little bit different. Um, things, things do get weird because you might see that this ran for two point, almost 2.2 seconds. Repartition stream says, no, I only ran for 1.3 seconds. And the sort says, I ran for four seconds. So that's a little, that's, that's a little misleading. But anyway, um, the, re the reason for, for this is, uh, is all explained in great detail uh, in this wonderful post by uh, Mr. Paul White, or uh, Ms. AKA Pablo Blanco. Uh, and uh, it was based on this demo. And actually, my, 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 only, my, my name actually appears in the blog post, which is uh, a magnificent thing. Um, and never thought that I would see the day. And uh, if, you, if you feel like Microsoft should probably work on this, this scalability issue, uh, there's, a, there's also a feedback item that is actually under review. To Microsoft's credit, uh, I, I will click on this so you can see that this, this feedback item opened by yours truly nine months ago. Oh man, this, this one's ready to pop. Uh, this, is, this is under review. And I, I actually got a thank you from the, for, got a thank you from the company. That's as good as a gold watch, isn't it? Right. <laughs> Getting a thank you, comment thank you. Anyway, let's get back to regular row mode sort spills. So I'm gonna run uh, these two queries. And they've got all sorts of hints and stuff on them uh, to recompile and clear out the procedure cache. And this one, this one up here is, uh, I'm using the min grant percent hint to ensure that this thing gets the minimum amount of required memory to not spill, because I want this one to not spill. And uh, I've got this query down here using the max grant percent hint, ensuring that it most definitely will spill. It was uh, built to spill, if you are you're into that kind of music, we hear it Darling Data or not. We like hard goth, <laughs> hard goth only. Uh, anyway, just kidding, we, 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 we like a wide variety of music. Depends on, depends on, the, depends on the, what the mood is. Right? When, it's a, when it's a bad mood because Microsoft support is awful, we, we listen to the hard goth. Right? So um, let's look at the query plans for these. Because that's what we do, isn't it? We're the, we're the, we're the data darlings who stare at query plans. And let's, let's be moderately surprised when we look at these two query plans and we see that the, the plan that's, uh, that didn't spill, oh, that was terrible framing by me. I'm gonna do some sit-ups after this one. 
And uh, the plan that did so, you see oh, way over here, these sword operators. Uh, the, the sword operator, way, uh, my hand. <laughs> I look like I'm doing something awful to that sword operator. Uh, the sword operator way up top did not spill, and that took five seconds. The sword operator right here, uh, ooh, that's, that's nice. That's right there. That, man, that's good framing on my part. That took 3.4 seconds, but why? Why? Why, my data darlings, did this, this, why did the, the, the query that spilled take less time than the query that didn't spill? Now, um, this is something that I, like, I never used to like, really catch well query tuning things before Microsoft introduced operator times into query plans because you would see a spill and all you would have to go on is, well, crap, spill, spills are pretty slow, right? We should, we should try to get rid of spills. If I fix the spill, maybe it'll be faster. It didn't always turn out that way. Now... The reason why my spill is faster, I mean, first and foremost, is because I am on fast local storage, right? So this is Crystal Disk Mark hitting my fast local SSDs on, on this computer. Again, these are SSDs plugged directly into all the same parts and components encased in a beautiful Lenovo laptop uh, right next to where all the other hardware and stuff is. Because, um, you know, you don't, you don't have that probably though because you work for knuckleheads, and you work for knuckleheads who dragged you kicking and screaming into the cloud where storage is awful, uh, generally awful. And if it's not the storage that's awful, then it's, it's the path that the, the, the data has to take getting to the storage. Right? It has to get way over here. Right? Your, your data is nowhere near uh, your SQL server. It's miles away, <laughs> probably. Miles of network cable away. So I get the benefit of fast local storage that I don't have to go across miles of wires to, to get to. You probably don't have that because you work for knuckleheads. I work for one knucklehead, but the one knucklehead I work for bought one nice laptop to do demos on. So that's why this, this sort is, is fast for me. It probably wouldn't be fast for you. Right? I realize some cloud instances do have like a local storage with like, you know, hyper drives on them. And you could, you could get stuff fast there too, probably. But uh, most people don't have that. So um, they get really screwed up by this stuff. So you, you will probably want to fix sort spills. I probably don't need to fix sort spills. But I'm going to show you in a minute how you know if you need to fix sort spills, aside from like just, or like if you have a lot of sort spilling and, you know, doing things. So uh, one thing that's sort of interesting about sort spills, at least in parallel execution plans, and we're going to hope that this query works works correctly the first time because this demo is a little weird uh, sometimes it's like great the second i run it other times i have to tinker with the the memory grant percents and and that's it's not fun when i have to tinker with the memory grant percents and um what do you know i'm probably gonna have to tinker with the memory grant percents let's change this one to like 13. because <laughs> you know what's funny is uh it, wor it worked three seconds ago when i ran this before recording the video. Um, don't take it out on me. I'm still better than Microsoft support. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. So uh, if you look at this top query up here, right? This query, uh, when it spilled, it only, so this query, just to make sure everyone understands, this query is running at doc eight. That's this many fingers. And this query spilled uh, well, spill level one and spilled seven threads out to disk, right? That's this many fingers. <laughs> Eight threads is this many fingers. Uh, and so one of these threads uh, is showing that it did something, right? So if we come over here and we look at the properties and we look at this, uh, we will see one thread with 1,400 rows, 1,435 rows on it. That looks like it did some stuff, but this is just a weird uh, query plan timing issue, right? This is, this is not actually in actuality, kind of what happened. It's sort of what happened. Um, uh, bo both the, the thread stuff and the operator time stuff, as we saw in the, in, the, in the previous demo with the row mode thing where the repartition streams was not in the realm of reality of what the other operators around it were doing. Um, uh, the, the operator timing and the thread stuff can also not be anywhere near reality. It's so, sort of like me after 8 p.m. <laughs> Me and reality are not, not shaking hands anymore. Uh, but so this query down here, which spilled 
to level one and spilled. Oh, why did you disappear? You were right there. All you had to do was not leave like my dad. So this is uh, level one and spilled all eight threads. So this sort, even though 50, almost 53 million rows from both of these go into this sort, and th both of these sorts sort 53 million rows, uh, this one looks like it didn't do anything, right? It's just, it's all zeros in there, right? Like my report cards. So uh, again, the, the, the reason why like the sort spills are generally faster is because they have nice local storage, which you don't have, probably. I hate whispering. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. So uh, it, sort spills can get worse as you have more columns to spill. So just, we, you'll allow me to go back in time one moment. If we look at this sort, we have one column in the output list, that is post ID, and one column in the order by, which is post ID descending, okay? So if we run these two queries now, and again, I have my little hints here just to make sure uh, everything happens the way I want it to. That should be, is that those the right two queries? I didn't highlight the one above it, did I? That was rather foolish of me. Rather foolish. Oh, Eric, where does your foolishness cease? Never. So we're going to run these two, and, and this, is, this is important because you should understand this about sorting data in SQL Server, right? And this, this one is, is still a little bit faster, not, not, as, not, not as crazy faster as the other one, right? Six point, oh man, zoom it is all over the place today. 6.2 seconds versus 5.7 seconds. But now there's gonna, the, the sort operators are going to look a little bit different than they did in the previous demo. And they're going to look different because we have, if the tooltip ever graces us with its presence, we have way more columns in the output list now. Right? We're still only ordering by post ID, but what SQL Server has to do is all the columns in the output list, those also have to be put in order. Right? Like th that's what a sort does. It sorts all the data that you're outputting by the column that you're ordering by. So, you know, again, I've probably gone over the Excel analogy a few times where when you, you're using Excel and you click that button in the top left-hand corner and everything gets highlighted, and then you click sort and you choose a column and everything in the spreadsheet flips to match the sort order of that one column, or Excel kind of yells at you and it's just like, are you sure you just want to sort this one column and not everything around it because you'd look kind of stupid if you did? Uh, so that's what SQL Server kind of has to do in memory too. It has to flip all the order by columns to the order of the, sorry, it has to flip all the output columns to the order of the order by column. So that, 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 that's why queries that select more columns and need to order those columns need more memory, right? So that, that's one thing to keep in mind there. And one thing that will exacerbate those issues is when you have uh, text data or not just like the data type text or end text, I mean like any string data really, uh, anything that is not, like all the columns that we've been dealing with before, these are all integers or dates. Well, I guess they're all integers and there's, there's one date time. So these aren't like, you know, big honking columns with like variable lengths and stuff where SQL Server has to guess how much data is in them, right? So if we look at the comments table and we run this query, Right, what I want to show you is that like, a lot of columns in here don't, like, so the, just to make sure, make sure, sure, we understand what we're talking about here. The, uh, the text column in the comments table is an NVARCAR 700, right? NVARCAR, double, double byte encoded text. And so that's why I have data length divided by two. Also, data length tends to be a little bit faster than len when we do these things. Um, so uh, I, that's why that's the divide by two there. So if you look at all the, the, the stuff in here, like a lot of the comments that, you know, just, just in this top section don't have very long lengths, byte lengths compared to the maximum byte length of the column. But what's really interesting, I'm ready. See, like, so, they're going to show you this and I'm going to talk a little bit about memory grant stuff is when we run this now we have this average column length of 302 bytes and this is actually this actually plays pretty well into how SQL Server does memory grants for uh, string columns right because what it does is it guesses that every row that is produced 
that needs to be sorted uh, for a string column, that, that that row data will be half full. Right? So for a var in varcar 700, having 302 bytes in there is actually pretty, pretty close to half. Right? So the average comment length in here actually works pretty well for that algorithm. It might not work well for all, every, al for every like, data set. You might have in varcar 700 columns where like, legit like, everything really is only like, you know, half or like 50 bytes full or something. And you would just get really excessive memory grants for that stuff. So if we run this query right here, and this, this query does not select the text column, and we look at what it does, this, this, one, still sorts, spills, this one still spills a little bit, but it's pretty quick, right? Two seconds, like no one's, no one's going to really gripe about two seconds. But now if we run this query, which is, which is capped a max grant percent of one, with the text column involved. Here's, here's what we're going to have to, here's what we're going to do, is we're going to come over here and we're going to run SP pressure detector with a sample of 12 seconds, which might, which might help, help you understand exactly how long that, that query that I just highlighted is going to run for. So we're going to kick that off and then we're going to run this. And what we're going to see at the end is that SQL Server uh, spent way more time spilling when there was text data involved because we have way more pages to spill out. We have bigger data size to spill out because of that text column, right? So this whole thing takes about 10 seconds, which is just, which if you're wondering why pressure detector was at 12 seconds, it's so I could run it and have like a second or two of grace period to, uh, to, to come over here and execute this one, right? So if we look at what SV pressure detector tells us about the 12 seconds that this ran for, what you're going to see way up at the top is this I.O. completion weight. And if you, if you notice the, the helpful description column that I put into SP Pressure Detector just for you, just for you because I love you and I care about you way more than Microsoft Support does, uh, this is the weight type that you will see from queries when they are spilling sorts a lot. Uh, there are different weight types which we're going to look at in future videos that happen uh, when hash spills, hash operators spill from both a hash aggregate and hash join perspective. But the IO completion weight is pretty decent, like you can associate that pretty decently with uh, row mode sort hash spills. So if this, were, um, uh, if this were a batch mode query, you would see BP underscore sort as the batch mode sort thing that was happening when things were spilling and getting awful. So if, you, if you're looking at a server as a whole, or if you're looking at wait stats for a query and you're wondering what IO completion means, well, if you, know, if you have a lot of slow queries that are you know, doing a lot of sorting and they're doing that sorting in row mode, uh, there's a pretty good chance that they are spilling lots and lots of stuff out to disk. And since you work for knuckleheads who you know, put you on, on the cloud, uh, you're probably gonna have to fix those because um, that, that, that actually can meaningfully slow a query down right there. So um, IO completion weights, if you see those associated with running queries, a lot, some spilling going on. Uh, whether that spill is the root cause of why the query is slow, you're going to have to determine that or hire me to do that because I'm, I'm happy, to, happy to tell you either way. But uh, that's, that's what you would have to do there. Anyway, um, my, my wife has been texting me for uh, 20 minutes. Uh, so I should probably respond or something. Uh, uh, but before I do, before I go, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I hope you learned something about sort spills. Uh, if you like this video for whatever reason you like it, it doesn't have to be the content. It could be, it doesn't have to be what you see in SSMS. It could just be my, my, my bright, sunshiny presence here on the screen. Uh, I like the thumbs ups on the videos. And I like, you know, the you go girl comments in the videos. You can even say you go girl. I won't, I won't be offended. Uh, so there's that. Uh, if you like this sort of SQL Server content in general, uh, please subscribe to my channel. And you can join, drum roll, let's hit this refresh button, make sure we're totally up to date. You can join nearly 3,779 other data darlings who get notified every time I publish one of these videos that mean so, so very much to me. So uh, once again, 
from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for watching.